Good day and welcome back to the third installment of our custom maps and polygon series. Hope you had a good journey thus far and um, yes, we've saved the best for last. Let's have a quick look. Today we are focusing on the custom map backgrounds and what is possible. We will be using the examples in the from the first, well, from the second video actually. So um, I hope you had a look, had a chance to look at that one already. Um, yeah, so to recap, we've already looked at polygons and how to draw polygons within Tableau spatial files and why polygons are important, important for spatial files and how we can use custom spatial files. And now we will look at the custom map backgrounds. Strap in, this is going to be fun. First, let's have a quick look at the uh, potential or the um, options available for us in Tableau in the standard maps. So as you can see, we have the normal view. That's just um, as you've probably been work working with before. We can also opt for a lighter view where it actually removes some of the, the colors to make our uh, polygons stand out a bit more. Or you can do use the dark theme if you do prefer for your specific visualization. And in this case, actually you can see that it highlights the dams way better in any case. So those are normally our three options. But why should we be bound with these three options? And the answer is we do not need to. So. Enter Mapbox. You might not be familiar with Mapbox before, um, or, or you might have used it before, but um, why not scroll over to www.mapbox.com, create a free account and register. Once you have registered, you'll see there's different, there are different pricing plans. Um, in this case, I've opted for a free plan and it works very well to test it out, create some, yeah, first of all, actually not if use their, their specific um, styles that have been designed by their designers or actually make some tweaks and create and personalize my own. Um, yeah, so pop on over to Mapbox, create an account. You will need an access token as you can see here, an access token. I have blanked it out so you can create your own. Um, you will need this for the visualization within Tableau. But let's go have a quick look at what Mapbox um, by default offers us in Tableau. All right, so we go back to our example, and this is from the previous tutorial. You'll notice that, um, yeah, we can obviously play around a little bit with the map layers, as we've seen, and just changing this to dark, my favorite, um, that is nice. However, how can we even make it a little bit better? And if our client has a specific requirement, for instance, to change the map background to an actual satellite image. So that is straightforward with Mapbox. So we will not be going into the map layers anymore. We will be using a map uh, background map. So you will notice that we've obviously got the standard ones there, the Tableau. You have an offline version as well, and you have the option to exclude it. However, we want to have our own. So we just click on map services, as Mapbox is a map service. We click add, because we have to define our style over here. And we will not be looking at WMS service today, but that is another option, by the way. But feel free to Google that. That could also be very helpful. But for me, Mapbox Maps is the easiest to use here. We will use Classic, and we'll put a, st a style name down, such as Satellite. Let me just spell it correctly. And we will put our access token. Now, we quickly need to copy it from there and paste it in here. And then we can change what specific style we want. So you can see there, there are a couple, from comic to outdoors to pencil to wheat paste. The options are endless, and you can even customize these or create your own in Mapbox. But today we will just have a look at satellite, for instance. We won't look at the custom layers, which is also possible, by the way, and we'll just hit OK. And as soon as we've done that, you can see automatically it updates the map with the actual satellite imagery. You can see where there are mountains, you can see the color of the sea changing, and this is looking absolutely stunning, I think. One thing that we just need to fix quickly is the actual font color of the dams. Black doesn't work very well on the satellite image, but there you are. So that looks great. So you can see that we are able to add in very nicely high definition, and we can even scroll in deeper to show you that high def um, maps into Tableau from the satellite image. And you, you might notice that's at some stages that there, um, yeah, it does actually give white spots. That is just due to the internet connection and the connection with two to Mapbox. But this should not be a problem if you are on quite a, a, strong, um, a strong connection. 
All right, so that was the satellite image, and I think that looks very good. However, your client might be, uh, yeah, maybe a bit less um, explorative, and they want something a bit um, still custom, but not necessary to this degree. And we can also to use this opportunity to show you different maps from Mapbox. So if you go again into Map Services, you can see satellites there already, because you've defined it already. But we can just create a new one into classic and we can call this pencil we again put our access token down and now we go and select our style that we want to use so we'll use pencil and again let's fix our label this doesn't get fixed automatically so we can just fix it make it black and there we are i think i personally think this looks much better as the attention is deeply um yeah immediately drawn into into the maps we are trying to show but what I also like about this, it's simple. It um, doesn't take away from the actual visualization what you, or the, the shape files that you're using, but actually gives some of the infrastructure as well. So you can see where the city is located versus the outlying areas and where the dams are. So this is one of my favorites as well. And let's quickly show you another one and just have another look. Um, yeah, like I said, the opportunities are endless, but it can get also uh, sorry, there we go. It can also get a bit of analysis paralysis idea. Let's call this one um, Let's see. Let us take comic for instance and let's take comic put our token down and change it into comic as you can see that looks <laughs> quite a quite a lot different but not exactly what we're looking for in this case but these are the kind of things that you can do so i think it is just great i will undo that as i prefer this one over here so i hope you have now um, learned that there are endless opportunities with maps um, i mean you can create your own polygons you can use custom shape files and you can even change the background so there is nothing that you cannot that limits you in essence to create the perfect map I hope you enjoyed this series and um, if you do have some comments or some suggestions please leave them for us it's always nice to hear from you and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel we will also be launching some further exciting series so um, yeah so keep tuned in until we meet again